Now the next part in our video series on copy protection is about CopySafe Web. CopySafe Web is and will copy protect anything that can be displayed on a web page. Uh, that includes images, text, flash, PDF, video, anything at all that can be displayed on a web page. I'll just go and have a look. Now, I can't show you too much about CopySafe Web because uh, I'm using a screen recording program to to create this tutorial. However, if CopySafe is doing its job properly, uh, you won't see very much when I hit the protected pages. However, we can have a bit of a bit of a flutter around. Now, CopySafe Web is the software is is very similar to secure, secure image encryption software in that it treats images the same, import the Im imports the images, encrypts them, creates the H HTML to use and so forth. However, the CopySafe software is not provided, to, is only provided to, to licensed users so uh, and we don't really want to go there because it is um, a sensitive area and security needs to be maintained and obscurity is is perhaps the best the most effective uh, security but let's have a look at what we have got here now this is a um, menu of the demos and as, as you can see uh, with the window with the image display options you've got the same options as you have with secure image you know, static image hyperlink swap image and so forth and the demos here have been specially prepared to for you know for people people to evaluate, try the screen capture programs, try this, try that, see if they can steal the image, and you know really give it a damn good test. Uh, here we have a flash movie, um, uh, a, a Windows Media movie, which is streamed from a media server, um, a survey questionnaire, which is an online form. Um, with slightly lessened protection so that the keyboard and, and mouse can be used to, to answer questions and so forth and PDF documents. Now with CopySafe Web each individual page can can um, be set differently. You know, the, the levels of secu security can be varied. For example you can allow screenshots by screen capture software if, if you want to provide uh, that on, on, on certain pages. You can allow use of the toolbar menus, you can allow use of the keyboard, and you can allow or disallow access uh, from remote servers. For example, if you're a network administrator you might you might need to have access to your pages so you can see what they look see what they look like from within your own network. However, um, you may be able to, you may want to switch that off so that people viewing your protected pages remotely won't be able to screen capture them. Now CopySafe Web requires a plugin. Um, once installed, it's it's a one-time install and once installed you can view any CopySafe protected pages and the plugins are available for all of these browsers which is really covers all browsers because you can see Explorer, Chrome, Firefox. Now web browsers and there are very a, a lot more uh, than what you see here in this in, see here in this list fall into two categories um, they will either be Internet Explorer based or Mozilla based in which case uh, that would include Chrome Firefox Navigator Opera and Safari and pr probably 20 other web browsers With CopySafe Web, you have uh, basically got two very distinct options. Uh, the way CopySafe Web works is it you only ha you only need to have a single encrypted image or CopySafe Web encrypted image on a page, and 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 it's when that image loads that it activates the plugin which in turn um, uh, protects protects everything from screen capture and, and, and so forth. So 
You've seen Secure Image Program where you have a wizard where you can encrypt images for display on the web page and you can and there's no limit to how many images can be displayed or what size they can be displayed and and uh, quite frankly for for images CopySafe Web would have to be the most secure most, most secure copy protection uh, imaginable because it was initially designed for images now as that image loads and it's switching copy safe on and off as the page loads and loads and closes so uh, keeping that in mind uh, you may realize that you only need to add a small a very small image in 10 20 pixels by 20 pixels on any web page and that will effectively copy protect everything on the web page for example these these demo here demos here um, they are full page displays for the content there but they but each of those pages only has a very very small encrypted image which you know as I said before when it loads it activates the plugin which in turn copy protects the content on the page now that method we call copy safe insert so you have copy safe encrypted images and copy safe insert and there is that the the licensing prices are very different because with the insert method you we don't provide the software because you don't need the software what we do is we prepare a very small image for you send that to you and all you have to do is is drop that little image onto your web pages any web pages that you want to copy protect and and away you go now what we need to do now is have a look at the HTML that might be used on these pages. Okay, a little bit of righty. Uh, you're probably not going to see that, but As you can see, CopySafe is doing its job, and 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 um, it's not allowing, not allowing me to capture that page. And I was hoping to find some source code to show you, but it's going to be quite awkward. So I'll have to find another way of doing that. So I'll just just get out of there. Um, we'll have a look at the. Uh, that's the image converter, very similar to the secure image converter. Um, this is most interesting, this, this part here. CopySafe Web, like secure image, will run server side and uh, we've, we have we've created quite a few setups for clients where they've wanted to run secure image from the server to uh, enable their site members to upload images or have them automatically encrypted added to the database ready for display on their on on their member pages and it's trying to find that code and I can't so I'll have to go and find it elsewhere from the looks of it okay now while I'm screen recording, I can't really show you what the copy protected pages actually look like, but um, you know, as you can imagine, they're like any other web page, and and for image displays, it looks very much very much the same as as the secure image demos. Uh, but I can what I can do is walk you through the plugin installation. For example, when a visitor comes to your web page the first time, if they haven't visited a copy safe web page before they won't have the plugin installed and until they install that plugin they won't be able to view the copy protected page um, it's so we'll go for a stroll and we'll try to visit a demo and whoop okay now it's discovered that um, I don't have the plugin installed and I'm using for this exercise I'm using Internet Explorer for plugin installers, we all of these browsers are, are supported, 
uh, if, if I was using a Mozilla browser I would be installing a different plugin for them however I've got to install the IE one because that's the brow browser that we're using here and so here we are now what we'll do is we'll download this plugin Okay, I'm being asked, do I want to run or save the XE installer? Okay, yes, I'll, I'll run it. Uh, so then, as soon as it finishes download, downloading, it will automatically install. Now, when you set your website up for CopySafe Web, we, we provide the installers and, and a set of download pages, like this one, uh, only a little bit plainer, so that you can customize them for your own look, add your own lo logo, make the web page, you know, you can change those pages. And you can provide the downloads from your own website. Okay, we'll click this yes. We want to do that and get on with it. Um, next, uh, yes, I agree. Um, here we are. Installation is successful. Now, I, I have installed the plugin, so now the next time I go and visit the, a, a copy protected web page, um, my visit will be unrestricted. And, and from here I can simply return to the page that I was redirected from by clicking this link, which is here. Uh, well, not quite, because uh, we did do a detour, didn't we? Okay. So, anyway, now that I have that plugin installed I should be able to load that web page here we go and of course you won't be able to see this image in fact you won't you won't see much at all because CopySafe is doing its job and protecting that web page and that's CopySafe web uh, integration and uh, that's for that's it for copy safe web